Well, this week on DOS Ball, our players return with a pretty enjoyable, if short, uh, session. And, uh, well, it's a little bit violent, a little bit over the top, and, uh, well, you'll see. Enjoy! Good morning, everybody. Welcome to D&D. Um, before we begin, uh, who wants to take the recap, if anyone at all? Or was it me? No, it's all you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, otherwise, okay, no, I... actually, I think I got this. Oh. <laughs> she muted immediately. Oh, after. Oh. <laughs> Just oh, you want me to actually do the recap? Yeah, go. Okay. Yeah. So, um, it was the end of the fight. Radagast was sad and was slowly crawling away. You were talking to the Forge Master, and he was like, I think I can do this. Give me a minute. Uh,. Alex went to go babysit Radagast, and Radagast is like, you don't have to do this, and he's like, uh, the Alex is like, eh. Um, the I don't remember what Radagast was looking for, but he's looking for something, and he kind of found it. Phil. I did the find Warforged. it. The Warforged. The Warforged. I remember shield this guardian. now. The he's, not, he's a shield guardian. And the race is going to be honest. <laughs> God. Yeah, not God. all robots I've are built the same. One, kind of fucked I've up, dude. I've seen one session. It's okay. Um, yeah, and, and you then, just burned into your memory. <laughs> and then Leo went through with the ritual to clean him of the eyes. And he went through all of this deep lore. All um, the trauma. All, yeah, so explain much trauma. all the deep lore, Mo. <laughs> okay. You don't have deep lore, Mo. Anyway. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> Come on, we don't um, have these notes, but you should. I'm just I'm just gonna bracket deep lore in, and it's something yeah. about Isabel being extremely depressed. Tavernic is a betrayer. Deep God lore, realtor. sadness, family <laughs> drama. Deep, deep God. God. Deep God. Deep God. Coolest God. Tavernic, coolest God. Doesn't play by anybody's rules. <laughs> living his own <laughs> life. Sucks. Your God is a fucking. Eris is the door. coolest of them. Oh yeah. Well, my God whooped your God's ass or something. I don't know. <laughs> my dad will be <laughs> your dad. That's how it works. Anyway, welcome to Dustfall Recaps, bro. <laughs> Leo's, ta Leo's tattoos are now white and not red. Um, he was really um, hurt. He almost died. He didn't die, though. I lived. And then um, he lived, went bitch. to the train station map that wasn't actually a train station. And oh, um, you got some pastries. Uh, Radigas yes, tried to go to the bathroom. Very important. Yeah, you got your pastries. <laughs> And then you went to the forge where Jane had to give Dawn away to be reforged. And at the very end, I'm gonna get his name wrong. Kelligan? <laughs> Kellogg. <laughs> Kellogg, <laughs> Grand Trusted Blakes, that's correct. No, Kelly is. Um, I think he contacted Leo Carl. and was. Nah, like, he, he sent a message to every. He put him on speaker. <laughs> He put it oh, on speaker. he was like, he, 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 I'm gonna kill all of you. <laughs> <laughs> and fantastic. everyone went, oh, fuck, you're right. Um, but we're gonna stay here, we're gonna help defense, we're gonna set up the defenses, and, um, we're gonna fucking kill you. Mm -hmm. First. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, so, in those two days... It's like I was there. <laughs> two days have passed <laughs> since then. Throughout that, you guys can do each individually one downtime. I know Leo was practicing uh, with her Lorraine and Doran getting, his, getting himself fit and ready to fight. Um, anyone else have any preferences Which outside I of watching? Known 18 permanently, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know that the uh, that Uman and Jane went around eating and hanging out uh, as they were helping the Forge boys out up yep. top and helping them get prepped um anything that radagast or theo want to do that you want to do before is go time i would we need i would probably set the people up at the forge uh we'll get to that in a minute okay i'd probably go back to dane and actually ask him after everybody's gone if he can give me anything to fix my, my movement speed and legs uh, uh i fixed uh, you Uman, right? Uman you fixed, fix yeah, Uman, no. yeah over the two yeah. days uman's greater restorating you to bring you to full movement and all that stuff. Back Thank to non-cripple. Back to non-cripple. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Otherwise, I just, you have I, free just I just touch. I just, I just touched you in in all the right places with my greater restoration, man. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, pretty yeah, hot. Yeah. It was pretty hot. Rub the abs. I'm... Just a little bit. Yeah. Let the tingle ever again. <laughs> it's, it's, very like it's very sensual. 
Very yeah, it is. Really is. Completely platonic and not gay <laughs> in any capacity. <laughs> All right. So that's noted. Can you can 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 someone roll like a D twenty to see if Radak has got a boner? Will I? <laughs> yeah, I'm on it. 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 No, I'm make on a con it. Save. Con save. I'll do it. Yeah, make a con save. All right. Should be noted, your magical items, most of them are ready. The items that aren't ready are, I believe it was the... Mm. I'm just thinking in my head. Does that mean portal? Does 12 mean boner? Awkward boner. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, it's, come it's on. Chubby. It's not fully there, it's chubby. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's chubby. It's chubby. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Every week this with you. I, <laughs> like every week. God, yesterday we had snowcocks and now we have stubbies, okay. Dear God. Alrighty. So, the magical items, most of them are ready. The only exceptions to this, I believe, or let me check my list. Um, Not Phil, the... right? Come on. No, Phil is ready. Um, oh, that's that's yeah. one of the biggest ones. Um, <laughs> the only item I do not believe no. that is brought out is the immovable rod that Jane requested. That's the only one that didn't, no. didn't roll for him to get into. The one got a touch of my immovable rod almost. Do I have the gloves oh of God. thievery? God uh, damn it. Oh, yeah, that was on the same list as that because they were the items in a... They're not around. Not Those yet. Those two were the ones mm -hmm. you, didn't, you didn't get yet. Good. Yeah. All right, right, I do but... have the boots in the... Mm -hmm. He gave you those. He gave you those because they had those in stock um, that he brought. It should be noted, Uman, your well, your wolf pelt coat uh, comes in and the <sighs> the wolf head, it has the goggles <laughs> inside of it so when you pull it over your head, Amazing. you can see you can see through the goggles. And you kind of look like this. I through. love it. I love it. Not so a furry, much. by the way. <laughs> by the way, it's important. The distinction Not a furry. is important. Half, half furry. It takes half Jane furry. a couple yeah. of like a, like a couple of hours to get used to it. She turns around sometimes and just hisses, and then it just he's always got it down, just like sup. <laughs> Pretty intimidating. Most of your gear is ready, re refreshed, and renewed. Um, is there anything you'd like to do before the the day of? Just one final run through of everybody. Oh, yeah, did yeah. I'd like to turn into Umon a monkey. Umon and I, and I were going to make poisons and stuff. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you can roll yep. those. You can roll those uh, crafting checks for that. Good. Be if they not like a potion of necrotic resistance. Uh, roll me. I think it was D one hundred, please. So we was it was a check for that for the uh, for crafting your, the, your, the poisons. Your herbalist tool, or your poisoner's kits. Uh, nope, he doesn't have one in stock. Ah shit. Okay. My herbalist kit. Mm -hmm. or, or your poisoner's kit. I mean, I link my yeah, but what's the... I mean, I have proficiency with herbalism, but... Then it would just be your wisdom plus wisdom? proficiency. Oh, very. Plus right. oh. Give me a second. Plus... Uh, like nine. A plus a nine. Bro! Our proficiency went up. That's so great. Okay, not good. Alright, with the 16, you start work on some kind of trying to figure out how to best uh, create this concoction to place on a blade or an arrow uh, to tip some poisons. Uh, and you make some progress, but it's two days, right? And you're, this is the first time you are making poison in this way to be used on a weapon. Normally, it would be just sharper weapons, or you would grab a poisonous flower, and you would have your sister or your brother make the poisons. Um, that's their mm -hmm. kind of wheelhouse. So you have a little bit of uh, practice with it, but it's not really something you did often, especially not with such a kind of expensive material. And with your help, you guys managed to get one vial ready in time in the two days. It's a lot of work, very stressful, but you guys manage it in addition to everything else you're doing. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna give it to Jane. Yep, I trust one vial she... of Wyvern's poison. Um, she knows what to do with it. Hey. I think I should try to save this for a big bad guy, but I might use it here if we need to. Poison damage. <laughs> I just... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I laughed because my spell save DC now is 18. Mm -hmm. uh, well, and... I guess I, sh I shouldn't even drag down into my inventory again yet. Yeah, not yet. I'll just hold off on that. Um, all right. So, big thing for everybody. I'm going to reveal the main feature of the fight that's upcoming because you guys are going to have a couple choices to make before it begins. Uh... And this feature is called uh, d d d Duel Until Ooh. Dawn. It's uh, private. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops. Oh, question marks. That's okay. 
Wow, what an amazing Portal, feature. Portal, I have made like two of my paralysis poisons as well. Uh, you, not if you, because you were helping on the wyvern poison, so no. Oh, we didn't have any more time in those two days? Uh, in those two days, that is the culmination of all the things, because you guys are like juggling different tasks that you're doing and going, checking up on the Forge Boys, practicing, working, and making this poison for the first time. Um, the fact that you made a vial so quickly is pretty, like, pretty top-notch. Okay. I know. Roll better, forehead. Anyway, this is the feature. Duel until dawn. When you guys fight Kellyan, this is the thing that you will know. He is in <laughs> to all of them. This is something you guys will have figured out through the scouts and all the information you gathered. The only way you guys, MetaSense, can defeat him is by surviving the set amount of rounds. Um, there is a special feature that this matters for. Um, in this battle, you can choose any number of people to deploy, but Jane has to be one of them, and it doesn't have to be all of you. And everyone else who doesn't deploy can help in the forge to accelerate the reforging. Um, of course, this means you won't be able to participate in the battle. So you guys can choose now if all of you want to go. The whole battle? In the entirety of the battle. Or just in the first, okay. In the, in the entirety now, of the battle. Now, if I have... But, I mean, okay, if, so... if, if we're waiting right. until Dawn is completed, wouldn't... Like, when Dawn is finally completed, mm -hmm. wouldn't the people helping be able to join? Uh, yeah. You would have... It's, you guys are up in the mountains in the forge. Um, the big I think thing, that maybe like you oh yeah, that's could, right. Because you could like turn yeah, you can fly and, and you can show up there. a couple of rounds later. But it will be a couple of rounds later. And I'm gonna tell you this: if you guys put down yeah. Kellyan, his forces are gonna collapse. Okay, now let me ask you this, yeah. Porto. What mm -hmm. if I use fifth level evocation spell Dawn, which says the light of Dawn shines down on a location you specify? Can, you can I make try. Kellyan wow. vulnerable? You can try. <laughs> you want to try? Well, it's a 30 foot radius. You want to try? <laughs> Do you want to try I mean, it? Would you like to risk it on that one, sir? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> what if I get to spell? Then, then deploy. And meet him on the battlefield. But I'm telling you, I'm, that feature is enabled uh, until dawn breaks um, and arrives. It says the <laughs> light like of you, dawn. Man. It says the light of dawn shines down. I mean, that could be interpreted as the light of yes, dawn. Yes, I understand. Literally. I understand. I'm, I'm telling you, that's just how the feature is labeled. He will lose his, like, basically, if you cast that spell, you have to keep the spell up for him to be vulnerable in any manner. Otherwise, he's immune to damage. And uh, you'll see how this matters in the fight. I'm just telling you ahead of time now that yeah. once Don oh. arrives, that feature is gone and he is vulnerable to damage. Like, you guys can hit him. So what you're saying is that the Don spell can make him vulnerable for the duration. Theoretically. Theoretically, Theoretically. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a one minute evocation spell. Mm hmm It's a pretty good spell. Um that might be worth risking it eventually. Right, I I, I have a question. Would we have to like I'm guessing they're like this this fucking guy and his army. They're, they're like marching mm -hmm. through the mountains and the canyons Not through the and mountains. whatever. They're going to the main gate at the bottom oh. of the mountains. There's a path up. You guys just didn't take it because mm -hmm. you teleported here. Yeah. There's, okay, there's kind but, of like a smaller outlying town in the front of the entrance. Yeah, my my question is, while, like, could we move ahead before he makes it to the to the, gate? to the gates to try and like do something, or mm -hmm. is it just like he's if at the you, gates? If you fight, if bitches. you do try that, I'm going to tell you. He is going to be there, and his army is going to be there, and your army is, and the defenses of Ashborn are not going to be there. So. Um, yeah, that's not the best move, Chief. Um, I mean, honestly, I feel like we should put Phil and, uh, Dane also at the forge with Endolin. Mm -hmm. Help speed up these pro uh, the process. Because, first of all, um, we all know that Phil will die <laughs> in this fight. Phil is gonna live forever, and his name is no, now. No, Phil's Dirk. immortal. All right, who are but you bringing no. to the fight? I'm, a, I'm asking now. I don't care who Look, you guys do. I mean, I'll know what I my, have to do. So I was, I was asking that because maybe we could try and like take advantage of the terrain to try and slow them down somehow. And I... then there would be enough enough time to to for dawn to be completed because we can't fight him. 
I mean, he's I mean, he's invulnerable. They, we can't do I mean, anything. You can absolutely hold him up. Are the is are the armies gonna be clashing while mm -hmm. the yes. battle's happening? Mm -hmm. oh, can I tell them battle strategies and stuff? Too? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, Dorn I'm is, gonna tell them uh, like the battle some battle of Kanai shit with like a reverse V to like lure them in and then have like one of their cavalry you know, troops cut really them off and encircle them and shit. You wanna know something really Good. funny? That is li like you arrive to the battle planning room. That is literally Dorn's plan. <laughs> To Lamont. use the the city's defenses to their advantage. I walk in, I'm like, reverse V, cut him off with the count. And he's like, yes, Jane. Yeah. That's what I thought of. I was just high five, oh. fist bump. Uh, okay. <laughs> during the two days, um, mm -hmm. could I have casted Locate Object for a ring of mind shielding that is certain dwarf lost? You can roll me an investigation check, or two, for the two days of looking. Okay. At, uh, Did me and Uman ever become monkeys? Sorry. <laughs> that that is presumed to have some to be something that happened off camera. But yes. Thursday. Let us pray. That we never know. Um, you search Damn. for those two days, kind of in the ice. Hey, you're left to your thoughts as you're kind of looking around, and you can't. You can feel its presence. Even with locate object. Locate object is the reason you get to make the check. Ah, uh, damn it. As you're kind of looking around and you can't find it because it's either out of sight or somewhere hidden away. Uh, you don't have any idea how these two fuckers lost it so so quickly. Okay. Fucking assholes. So, for the... Mm -hmm. so the way the Shield Guardian amulet works is somebody that is wearing it can cast a spell on it. Do they need to be attuned to that? Can yes. I have Uman put up... A... Oh, damn it. You know what I want. <laughs> yeah. I know what you want. Where... So can I... Okay. How do I turn into a whale and crush Kelly into death underneath me? God damn it. It's the only play. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna give it's... you these last five minutes, and then we roll to the okay. fight. Okay. What are? How are we dividing? Uh, Who's at the forge? So, um, I mean, Dane and Lynn. NPC characters can only help so much compared to you guys. Just so you're aware. Yeah, I think that personally, Uman should stay at the forge because he can at least come to the battle a couple of rounds after he helps. Um, and then one, maybe one other person that can ride on Uman if possible, or he can carry. That's gonna, because the other part Do is, you... yes, having Dawn made faster is good, but we also need to survive Kaleen for those well, next that's why round. I don't, that's why I definitely think it, Thea should be down there with me and mm -hmm. maybe Radagast, like, at le like, maybe, like I think I... at least it's me, Thea, <laughs> Or me, either meet the Radagast down there, or meet the now that you're full paladin down there. I that way am, we're like tanky enough. I have the most hit points out of everyone. Yeah, that way we're like tanky go, enough. Uh, and then maybe you hang out with Uman, Radagast, I, or yeah. just Uman up there. I think we should I just hang one out with of those Uman two. up there because. Uh, yeah, either those two up I, there or just Uman up there. But I think Uman could help out in so many ways as a mm -hmm. druid. Because I cannot carry everyone's hit points on my own. Because that's I also can... going to be something is, uh, of course, Kellyan is going to have features and stuff, and we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to strategize around mm. them. But I can only do so much. I was thinking this. Radagast, if you were up there too, if you could bless the Smiths, that would be a fucking. Epic. Bless doesn't, doesn't work. Affect on checks. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, if you guys could just could... both be guidancing them though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a cantrip. Because that, you have you, yeah, you guys could be slamming guidances I... on them. Because <laughs> you can't prepare cantrips. Yeah, let's let me and Umano slam on top of the forge, and you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look, what I was, I, I, I mean, I was thinking that, I mean, I don't know if just, just, like hitting fucking Kelly and we're heads and just, like charging in, just hope we tank it. I don't think that's the best choice. Because no, no, no. I mean, this but, guy, is, this guy is probably deals like I don't know in his fucking uber form, like a hundred damage per attack or something. <laughs> no. So, um, I mean, much. I don't know. I was thinking about somehow slowing him down, you know, like crowd control mm. or something. Yeah. I mean, because uh, I mean, if yeah. if we just throw like Leo and and Alex just to Kelly and he's just gonna one shot them. Well, crowd, you know, crowd control is fine, and that's why I wanted to try to make some of my uh, paralysis poisons. I only have two basic poisons and a wyvern poison though now. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Portal, I've got a question about mm -hmm. how you would interpret uh, the spell Aura of Life. It 
living creature regain one's hit point at the start of a turn? Does that mean it gets to take its turn? If, yes. If it's at zero, does it Correct. get a turn? Okay. It gets up. All right. It's a super good. Everybody stay. <laughs> no fall down mm -hmm. spell. Um, okay. Good well, if you have any ideas for good slowdown spells, then and by all means, it, whatever. I don't care. And it's it just my thought. Can... You can stay here. And it also gives resistance to necrotic damage as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And your hit that's... point maximum can't be reduced. Yeah, that's really good. All right, I'll put that one on Phil and let him go with you guys down there. Okay. So, Phil with us. So, how are we split it? Um, then we have Uman Radagast above, so that, uh... Does Uman okay be... that? Uman was saying he wanted to slow them down, I think. I mean... I mean, we, we need to have someone on the... If if it's more important to, like, speed up the thing, then I'll just stay because I'm the fastest of all of us. Yeah, but I, I have can get, I can get down pretty quickly. Like... Yeah, I think that... From what Portal was saying is that, you know, when we said, oh, we'll just leave NPCs there, like, he's like, hey, they can only do so much, is like, we should have some of us up there. And it'll probably be much better to have a little bit of a balance. And then try yeah. to catch up later. I mean, if, yeah, if, 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 if we're splitting and some of us are staying there, I totally should stay there because, like, like, that's the only way whoever stays up gets down to the fight. Yeah. Me being there, so yeah, I'll, I'll just stay there. Yeah. Then. Full dash Quetzalcoatl really with really Radagast riding on it. Just exactly. Down exactly. There. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, your choices have been cemented. And, and then drop Radagast, and he turns into a whale. <laughs> All right. I will. I will absolutely. We will we'll try that. I promise, Radagast. You weren't a for the whale plan, were you? Uh, I wasn't in the one shot, but I have heard of the whale plan, and I'm, I'm, I'm and I want to try <laughs> again. That was the best plan I've ever had. Yes. All right, let me this. hide that and get into the descriptions. Can um, um hmm? before that, could we get like a? So would Dane have access to like a dimensional door scroll? Could we use that to try and like move? Yeah. Is that that's not gonna work how I wanted to? Is it? Okay, let's go. Let's go. It's already go time. I'm just gonna grab a couple of, make sure I have the combat Hold up. NPC things for their trackers, and I'll pick one for allies. And I'll make it door. All right. Let me roll a bunch of initiatives. Thirty points. Holy shit! He'll roll the natural one. Rip. He's number one in my eyes. Shit. <laughs> okay, wait. So we're just no. hanging out here in a line in the uh, city. Oh, you can move around where you'd like, but this I'm is confused. this is the outer gate. So we're on the outside of the gate, or we're uh, no, on the inside. This the is gate? the outer gate. There's tents and stuff set up because people were okay. resting there as as refugees. But and we're most assuming of the... he's coming in from that direction. Mm -hmm. This is the main gate into the city, Oops. or to the lower city, and then into the actual city. You'd have to climb through up into the mountains, essentially. Well, I'd probably be off to this side a little bit and just mm -hmm. stealth thing. Yeah, you guys can move wherever you'd like. Uh, Should I roll well, a stealth? Yeah. You guys aren't going to like it. I rolled it, a 17. Uh, just so you know, portal. Yep, got you. Nice. Um... Is there a point where I can get advantage? Hmm? Uh, um, is there a... Uh... <laughs> oh, wow, not great. Night, that that would be a bit. Uh, so yeah, 19. 19. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys want to know something really funny? What? Uh, oh. There are two crits on uh, initiative. And you'll see who they are in a moment when their turns come up. Uh, mm -hmm. But... Oh my god, it's going to be the fucking orc sisters. <laughs> They're not here. No, 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 no it's, it's Kellyan here. and Doran. Both of them crit on their yeah. initiatives. Oh, that's great. Uh, poetic. Right. Really. You boys. It's poetic. All right, you guys set up um, outside the kind of lower city. There are forces in hiding, waiting. Uh, you know, Kellyan is going to be basically beelining it towards you guys the moment he arrives, and you can hear the thump, 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 the marching of troops on foot, and the almost kind of melodic whistle of a madman as Kellyan starts stepping up doom doom and you kind of feel his presence even from a distance uh, up above the forge 
burning hot and everyone working their damnedest to finish uh, the most difficult part of the reforging process. I'm going and, to cast protection from uh, yep. evil and good once he is in sight. Cool. Uh, and that's not going to take long because there's like a couple of heartbeats and then you hear a boom. And you see in the air jumping like over this tents, over the things, over like this hundred foot gap. Uh, Kellyan crashes down on the wall above, spinning a massive great sword. And he looks down and he goes, Let's dance, shall we, kiddos? Uh, and Summon the sword. Mm -hmm. I'm going to reveal their initiatives. Oh my god, this is so fucking initiative. Mm -hmm. The allied forces wait in hiding, preparing themselves. And Doran gives you guys a silent prayer. He's also going to marshal check for you. Boom, 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 boom. Which one's his best? Oh, they're the same. How nice. Are yeah, Doran and Kelly in the same exact oh. spot on the wall right now? No, they're hiding. Um, you would know where they where the allies are. They're hiding in this like here, and these guys are a little bit further down off to the side where there's a little oh, yeah, hiding I see spot. Him. I see him now. Yeah, they were hidden. Uh, Doran is. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, he can identify one of the following abilities for you guys, and he'll pass that information when he gets the opportunity as soon as the battle begins. Oop. That's almost bad. Hold on. Let me just put in this. Uh, you can choose one of the following abilities to identify and learn about. Blade of Damnation. Uh, do, 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 do. Herald of the Dark. I am that invincible. Uh, these are the ones he, he gets. Uh, Herald of the Dark think so because it's our name okay <laughs> uh whenever kellyan go wherever kellyan goes the dark follows he is considered lightly obscured when not under direct light in addition to this while in dim or dark light kellyan's movement speed is tripled and his attacks have advantage on other creatures in dim or dark light yeah um <laughs> yeah checks out um so yeah he okay. crashes down on the boom in front of you uh and the allied forces prepare themselves having hidden and waiting Fuck. to to spring the trap Someone burned some shit, so we have light. <laughs> <laughs> Set fire into the world itself. All right. Yeah, yeah, let me... Why can't they copy this over? T, how much? How many hit points do you have? I just want to make sure they're right on your character model. Uh, Seventy-five, right? Seventy-five. Okay, just double checking. Uh, <clears throat> All righty. Killing it. Uh, what do you guys say when he lands and crashes with this kind of shitty green? Nothing. I'm just trying to hide. Okay. Do -do -do. In a while. I'm just gonna give you my best resting bitch face. That's all I'm gonna do. Hey. <laughs> all right. Hey. He's gonna decide amazing. one of his targets. Wow. <laughs> it's left to right, so yeah. He's gonna see the oh. giant automaton and just go, "Nice toy, would be a shame." And then like, boom, leaps off all the ground, boom, dramatically falls nearby, turns. And he's gonna attack twice with the blade of damnation. Bye, Phil. Goodbye, oh, Phil. Bop. You see nice the blade kind of massive. carves through <laughs> steel and flesh. Yeah, it is a really good point. It doesn't matter, though, because he doesn't get any crit bonuses. Um, uh, strikes. <laughs> tearing metal and steel and goes, damn, it's tough. <laughs> and there's an almost uh, proud attitude to the way he's moving. Like, he's... He's very reckless in this. Like, he's just standing there openly. He's not even wearing armor, you notice now. Just fucking showing his bare chest, all of the, the magic that has gone into him. Just flexing it off, basically. He has a Damn. bear chest? <laughs> That's Uman's thing. That son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, and Try that and is, steal my thunder. That is his action. And all he can do right now. Jane, you are hidden. Mm. Um, interesting. I think I'm going to. Pop a shot. Would I get advantage with my crossbow shot on him right now if I'm hidden from him? He's invincible. <laughs> but I know. But. Yeah, Good. Mm. You can draw his actor like that, yeah, for sure. You kind of fuck with him, you know? Mm. He's vibing with the music. Huh. I 
think I'm bonus action. I'm gonna turn invisible. Okay. <laughs> Greater invisibility kicks in. Actually, I guess it is action. I'm not gonna waste my bonus action time with that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna kind of like just st staying still, like using the alley like across the way here. Mm -hmm. right. Kind of like the wall here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try. I will. I'm gonna try and um, throw my voice. And all right, yeah. Like I don't know if I can do that with like I kind of I've done it before a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All out. Where I'll just sort of try to throw my voice and be like over here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can roll me a deception. Uh, in addition, you can roll a sneak. You can roll do your martial check. Yep. So I'll roll a martial check. I'll do insight with advantage. Mm -hmm. All right. You can identify. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, Herald of the Dark, Invincible. I am Invincible. I think uh, the first one I said was Blade of Damnation, right? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Um, Just joking. So, I am Invincible or Blade of Damnation? Um, I am uh, Blade of Damnation, just in case there's anything extra that it does. Any creature hit with a melee weapon attack by Kellyan takes 30 necrotic damage. If this reduces a creature to zero hit points, Kellyan may immediately make an attack on another target within his movement speed. It doesn't roll dice, it just does damage. It just does flat. damage, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why it God damn it, it's a text that I can't it. fucking copy over, you piece of shit. <laughs> um, right. And... And, uh... Do I need to make another stealth check, or...? Um, no, you're invisible, so your stealth doesn't break when you throw your voice. Um, okay. And you see Kelly in turn as he hears it, and he goes, hmm. She'll come out of hiding when I start stabbing her friends, right? And he turns to both... Alexandria and Leo with a fucking terrible grin. Uh, Alexandria. I'm gonna history check this fuck. Okay. Four muscle check. Yep. Uh, please don't. <laughs> please be okay. Um, Mine? <laughs> that is insufficient to identify any new abilities. God damn it. Um. Is it a bonus section to light my gauntlets? Yes. Cool, I'm gonna do that. Boom. An aura of flame <laughs> starts to go around her fists and her gauntlet and her, like, her fucking grooves boom, ignited with, with holy fire. And how far away is Kellyan right now? I think he's definitely within range. Yeah, like he's definitely within. Feet? Yeah, yeah. he's within 15. I'm gonna get up in his grill and I'm gonna punch him twice. Okay. Um, you don't need a roll, don't worry. Don't need to? No, because <laughs> as you strike him, you see your blow strikes him, connects, and he just falls down with it, and then another blow strikes, connects, and then Kelly and just fucking laughs. Like, <laughs> I didn't even feel that one! Uh, and it takes zero damage. Right. <laughs> oh boy, the pain of well, survival. Just, Again, survive for it. Just don't die, and you win. Only 19 more rounds of combat, guys. That's with that's oh. without any of the things. That's if it was only the bladesmith and the boys, mm. that being the twins. Well, that's my turn. Should they <laughs> also roll since it was starting? Of, nope. Uh... They just make progress, and okay. every action you guys take up there to help them gives more progress. So they're at one right now because uh, you guys act at the end of initiative. Actually, no. I should probably have you guys roll thinking about it uh, for. Uh, Radagast and Uman. Feel free, you should be on the initiative bar. Here, I'll unhide your tokens for you. Uh, roll initiative for me, for your actions in the, uh, forge. Just for completely forgot that that might be important. Also, what condition did you put for, uh, Phil for the spell? Uh, the condition is... When Thea takes damage. Any damage? Okay. Noted. Uh, I mean... Yeah, I mean, because honestly, the, it doesn't really matter when he uses it, right? Because it, like, and then it's, mm -hmm, but it's concentration, and it's, and it's and it's resistance to necrotic as well. Yeah, exactly. So I don't. Whenever Thea gets hurt, that's when my robot starts doing stuff. Okay. Toes. So not yet, but soon. What? Oh yeah. Because Thea hasn't been hit. Uh, Uma, yeah. could you roll initiative for me? Yeah, give me a sec. 
We need some right. Uma initiative. Alrighty. <laughs> um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just gotta double check. Because he might, he might have already taken a turn to add more progress. Um, uh, now he's below. Alright, oh. perfect. Um, boom, boom, two strikes. Kelly and laughs madly. Um, Radagast, up at the forge, you can see the kind of rattling of the ground and the kind of chills down your spine. You have a feeling the fight has begun already. Uh, and you see that the smiths are in their kind of last preparations. They are not at 3 out of 20. They are currently uh, oh. they are currently at 1 out of 20. You'll see how it increases. Of currently, yes. Because okay. the first round. Bitch. Um, yeah. Um, and you can see they're working on it. The twins are helping out preparing the... Basically, the last step of the process is they have to re-infuse Dawn with a shitload of holy magical star light energy. Uh, and to do this, they basically have to dun dunk it in the forge and make sure that it stays still and perfectly lit. The It takes a moment to kind of dip it so deeply and keep it like absorbing the energy because of how dim the forge is over the course of having been frozen for centuries. Um, so it's going to take a little bit longer. And you see that the... Dane and uh, the Blazemen have sort of gotten not into an argument, but like uh, a cross of ideals on how quickly they can do it. And they have both, and they'll do it at the end of initiative, um, ideas on how to accelerate it. Um, and you can help in any way you'd like. Do they need any wood carving help? I mean, <laughs> I mean that's up to you. How do, how do you think Radagast helps them complete this objective? He's just a big dude, so he probably just is going to be carrying and doing whatever they need mm -hmm. outside of the forge. Yeah, just hustling, holding stuff. Um, you may mark an additional progress, because that is the default thing you can do um, every time you guys spend an action to help. All right. Um, could I, as I'm doing that, could I cast uh, Guidance? Yeah, that's kind of the same. Same. It's okay, all wrapped okay. together. It's, when you're using okay, your action, okay. that's me noting that you guys are up there helping as they one way or another uman you see the same kind of argument between dane and the bladesmith in the kind of last minutes of preparation of how it should be done um and mm -hmm. they've come to a sort of impasse but they're both working on it still because time is of the essence um but what do you do to help uh i'm gonna try am i muted can you hear me no i can hear, yeah, you. Can hear you okay sure thank you uh i'm gonna try to like talk to them and like like tell them that you know like everything's at stake here stop fucking mm -hmm. arguing let's get to work and try to you know Game like whatever right. instructions they give me just yeah just help them however i can all right cool they kind of set you off to uh, do some some more heavy lifting specifically in preparing mm -hmm. a basin to put to dip the sword in before it flies off otherwise it might just burn someone's hand um when it's completed Great. Yeah, I'll, I'll get on that. The enemy forces arrive in full. March, 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 march. The first batch arrives. Bum, bum, bum. And the held actions of the defense squad take. They go off. So this is contested skill checks between the, the opposing armies. The first one is the defenses of Ashmorn. That's not good. Um, oh. Uh, this is the first squad, so their thing is... They do have an advantage, because they're stealth. Oh. The first squad isn't so tough. Wait. Shouldn't that be plus 10? What? No. That was for the for the knights who got ambushed, uh, which is the first squadron uh -oh. that arrives. Doom, 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 doom. You see kind of blade and steel comes out uh, the moment the other forces step in foot, like into the encampment trying to uh, surround you guys in the fight in general, and they're pulling the forces off of you with kind of like sting attacks, boom, striking at the knights. It's, so far the ambush is working, but it could swing at any moment. All right, Leo. We got, um, hold on, we got three out of 20 progress, or still at two? Uh, st uh, still at, you're at three now because Radagas and Numan both helped. Good morning. <coughs> um, Marshall check. All right. Cool. All right, you get access to the whole list of things to identify. You can identify the following. Death approaches, ruination, twisted mind, and, you know, I am invincible. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think, guys? I want to see what I am invincible is because it sounds like it's a skill that's not, like, from being cursed. It sounds like he's just a really cocky asshole, so I'd really like to see what that reads. 
Um, can Doran can make martial checks for us as well, correct? correct. He represents the allies, kind of watching the fight in the sidelines, okay. giving the tips. Um, I will. I think I'll do uh, death approaches. That's uh, a wise choice, considering how close it is to activating. Death approaches. At the end of a round, Kellyan will immediately attempt to clash a creature. Oh, well, I'm getting yeeted. Okay. Don't worry. Hold on. Oh, damn. <laughs> Let me just... Um... Death oh, uh, shit. Approach. Phil's gonna react. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to... Take my movement. <laughs> Slippy slide. Slippity dippity. Um, and then I will action. Um, well, action dodge. Basically, hold down fort. Okay. You start hunkering down. <laughs> Just preparing yourself. Kelly looks at you like, "Is that the best stance you got? You look like a toddler with a sword." <laughs> Probably haven't held. Right. It was a the real biggest one. one. Did you just call me a toddler? Yeah. He twitches physically. Uh, Phil. Hmm. His instructions are Phil, to protect Phil, Phil, protect Phil. Thea. And also with some fragile masculinity mixed in as well. Hmm. What? <laughs> Can't wait to break you in half. All right, you Phil heals try. a little bit. Phil is going to roll an intelligence check to see if he can figure out that the dude does not take damage. <laughs> no. <laughs> Phil punch. <laughs> Phil miss. <laughs> Phil do a load damage. Phil roll Marshall check. Could Phil, Phil not grapple instead? Oh, that's a good point. Get down, Mr. President. If his instructions are Well Thea is just yeah, I mean He hasn't taken damage yet. Uh, otherwise I would have used this action to do the thing. Uh, Phil just right. takes swings at Kellyan, tries Marshall check, robot is Pretty pretty old. He's still functioning, but uh, it's rough. Alrighty, start of the round. Well, end of an initiative. So, two things happen. First, two progress is made um, as both the bladesmith and um, you see, like with Uman's help, their argument has faded to all right. Get get a move on. Let's stop. Like he's right. We gotta stop fucking around with this. Um, so what? Do, 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 one second. Just making sure. Uh, let me get the the next one. Ba -ba 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 next song in the thing. All right, you see that um, the like you see up at the forge. You see first is the bladesmith who kind of just starts leaving the twins with instructions like, "All right, keep the sword. I will be right back." And you see him kind of hustling down the stairs, uh, moving towards the larger, um, more open kind of fuel area. Uh, and you see Dane kind of looks at him and goes. <sighs> that's dangerous and he kind of steps up and he kind of moves the twins aside very politely and he grabs the sword and he holds it closer to the fire and you see his hands burn a little bit but he's not he's not feeling it like they would um because of his resistances in his nature and he's just holding it down there uh closer to the flames um and then kellyan is going to pick a target um because he is canonically a man child um i need you leo to <laughs> Uh, well, roll me an attack roll as he's going to attempt yeah. to clash you. Oh, wait, Uman. <laughs> Uman! I run. Wait, he's flanking. Oh, oh. oh yeah, oh. I'm also flanking. You're flanking yeah, if, if we can save my thing for later. Yeah. All right. Yep. The first clash engaged. You see Kellyan kind of kicks at you at the shin, uh, Leo, and as you're following, Phil just kind of grabs one of his arms and he smacks back and you turn, rising with your sword, slashing him across the ch uh, chest, knocking him back. Doom, doom. And he kind of like feels the cut on his chest and he goes, nothing. Don't, don't feel any different. How about you, boyo? And you see him spit and he takes his stance again. You survive this first clash. Yeah. Good luck with the next. I'm not able to seal any abilities away, uh, am I? You may not attempt yet. to. All of you always end your turns flanking, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's see what the ones I have um, done. Uh, Blade of Damnation is probably unsealable. Uh, no. I will tell no. you when it ab his ability is unsealable. The only unsealable uh, ability he has is Duel Until Dawn. 
Okay, um, then I'll seal his uh, blade of damnation. Uh, that is. You see the cut kind of cut deep, <laughs> and he shakes it off, and he goes, "That all you got? Didn't even feel it." And the ability is not sealed. Okay. Uh, all right, Doran and the boys want to be going ham. Marshall, check Doran, please. He's on it. He's on it. They didn't roll too hot. They rolled a three. Um, that shouldn't be private. But they got a total of 15. Oh. Enemy forces. That's a d10, not a d20. Getting beat up. Um, and Doran's going to roll a Marshall check. That should have been history, but same deal. He is unable to focus on that as the battle rages on further south. I'm going to start deleting a couple tokens here and there. Oop. Yeah, I think the play, guys, is action dodge. Give Kelly and this. The battle below rages on. EDM intensifies. EDM intensifies. Dun, 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 dun. Just gotta move a bunch of tokens once again. War is a brutal thing. Violence, blood for the blood. Party blood. one four for the way there, guys. Holy shit. <laughs> we got this. We got this. I believe in you. Kellyan doesn't believe in you, though. All right. Kellyan's a man child. Kellyan's turn. Seeing what you have done and how you've positioned yourself, Kellyan's going to step away from you. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to use his action to initiate another clash. Okay. Um, still dodging, so he still does have this, but. Yeah. You do be flat, though. Bum, 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 bum. Damn, no crit. Holy shit. <laughs> hmm, okay. Oh, that is shame. unsuccessful. All right, this time as you're kind of dodging and weaving, boom, you see Kelly in steps, kind of Phil trying to grab at him. He just pop, like backhands the slap, like <laughs> backhand slaps his hand and just steps to you and he turns to you and he goes, Wait. let's see how tough you really are. What? Is Sophia maybe able to grapple yeah. him? As well? Uh, nope. No. Okay. Uh, in this case, not. Uh, and you see him sweep the leg, strike you across the chest, and let's see which feature. What is he gonna do? Sorry, I'm li I'm looking at the list of things that he can do when he successfully. Oh, that <laughs> that's funny. Okay, so he swipes at you and he swipes at your face and he cuts across your eyes, but you're already blinded, so. The effect is minimal. You also take 60 points of necrotic damage. Jesus fuck. Okay. Uh, 30 from his uh, from his feature and 30 from the clash. Just for clarity's sake. Alright. Fuck. <laughs> it do be rough though. Uh, Jane. You Can see you, Kelly uh, is going ham. Add the damage. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, to my sheet. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. Okay. I think I'm going to, like, shoot at him. Yeah, okay. No. And then scurry you away somewhere really far away. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have the Boots of Elven kind on, so... Mm -hmm. And I'm invisible, so... I can roll another stealth check if you want, but... I'll shoot at him yeah. and be like... Mm -hmm. Help. <laughs> I'll, 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 uh... Yeah, I'll shoot at him and be like, I'm over here now. And from over this direction. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can roll the hit. Um, or is it just not nah, hit? you you'll probably hit. Um, okay. I think you actually well, can't I mean, miss him with your mod. I mean, like, it's not gonna do damage to him. Right, right, right. right. Though, so mm -hmm. that's no point. It's just drawing drawing his attention as you kind of yep. fire a bolt at him, and he looks like, "Where the fuck is that cat?" And then I'll just kind of like. Uh, like I, I make some like kind of fake like kind of scuffles in the mm -hmm. ground if there's any dust or anything, mm -hmm. yeah. like on purpose, like yeah. in the area that I'm at, like seeming like it's coming from this direction. Yeah, you can roll me another stealth check. Like as I do it, like looking mm -hmm. like I came from where I originally yeah. had done it, mm -hmm. and then making it look like I had settled there. But then I'm gonna stealth. I'm gonna like go away, like totally in the. Mm -hmm. Sneak out. Uh, nice. Okay. Okay. 
Hey, not bad. <laughs> Ninja Jane. All right, Thea. I'm rolling pretty bad stuff, actually, right now. Like, all below 10s mm -hmm. today. That's fine. It <laughs> beats my passive perception. Plus 13, though, so... Uh, what would you like to do, Thea? Yeah, she's gonna... Give me a second. Let me see something. I'm gonna marshal check. Okay. Uh, yeah, ten. I want to marshal check, too, and all I'm right. moving over... 10 is insufficient to identify any new abilities. Cool. Um, can I move into flanking with Leo? Yeah, absolutely. I'd like to do that. They're not actually wanna... here, right? No, they're I'm, not here. They're not. Okay, That's just their right here. initiative trackers. Yeah, I'll move them off the map um, for you. I'll take the dodge action, okay. and that'll be my turn. Alrighty. Hmm. Kelly just looks at you two just dancing around them. He's like, what, you ain't gonna take a swing? Or are you too scared to try to bring me down? Uh, with a 15, you can identify the only other ability you haven't identified, um, which is, uh, I do believe, I am invincible I am is in that tier. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm invincible. When under dim or darkness, uh, and he fails a clash uh, to seal an ability, he may attempt a constitution saving throw at a DC of 15. Um, if he succeeds, he takes 100 damage, if he can take damage, and, reta and retains his ability. And he's only got 99 HP, right? He, he hasn't taken any damage Oops. because he is immune to all damage. While well, this feature, well, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. Red, I guess. Up at the forge, you can feel the battle intensifying. I start helping better. <laughs> you just keep helping? <laughs> all right. Uh, There's nothing that... Renegas is not a smith. In fact, he very much hates smiths. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's going to do as much as he can. Could I potentially... <sighs> Get creative with Is it. there anything... Hmm, let me think. <sighs> is, can I see if there's anything, like, specifically that he could do to, like, help? Could I, could I roll, like, an insight or an investigation to see if there's anything that he could help, like, do to alleviate just from somebody else like having another person doing something instead of just helping yeah for sure it's the the biggest thing is the the only ways you can help is in helping keep them they're basically been hot potatoing the sword for those first couple of seconds so their hands don't burn off um that's the biggest problem as well as the fires below not burning hot enough um so if you want to address one of those two major problems that might accelerate it further Make, find energy, hotter, right? make them handle hot better <laughs> that they need maybe cast um guardian of faith or something since it needs uh mm -hmm. divine magics it needs divine magic something of the sort don't you dare i don't feel like my flavor of divine... my fucking sword bitch <laughs> i don't feel like my type of divine magic is gonna be very helpful here um how much damage if they Okay, let's say somebody was just stupid enough to, to hold it, like, the whole time. Mm -hmm. How much damage would they take? A lot. <laughs> Consistently. Okay. Hmm. Section from energy? I don't have that. Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's anything that I have prepped, but I don't think so. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, emotions. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, no, I can't. There's not really a whole lot. Yeah, no. I think maybe just helping. Yeah. Can I roll that um, investigation or insight? Yeah, you may. Which one do you want? Uh, insight's fine. Okay. Uh, with a fifteen, you know that there the the probably the biggest struggle here is going to be maintaining that sword. Um, so you might want to put yourself in, in the rotation of people holding it um, into okay. the fire. Which is going to hurt, but, you know, um, mark one progress. Ooh, mark. <laughs> Same problems. There's not much I can do. Um, God, you guys are pathetic. Can I? I mean, did you say that um, that it needs to be, like, really hot? Uh, it doesn't need to be re it's not regular fire. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, no fire I mean in theory. Yeah, I don't know. Like 
I think yeah. I'm I'm just helping. Just helping. Okay. Yeah. Mark another progress. That should put you guys at seven. Oh boy. Can I <laughs> hmm? Uh Oh the fuck. Okay, there's nothing. Alright. Is that all we want? NPCs can only help so much, he said. They'd be doing better. <laughs> can I hold... Can I attempt to just, like, hold on to it for a little bit longer than probably necessary to alleviate, yeah, you... like, the stress from everybody else? Yeah, to you, take, can like... you can do that on your next turn um, for more okay, progress okay. than normal, since you now identify the problem. Though it will be hard. Okay. What's the progress meter? Seven. Seven, okay. That's all iron. I'm just checking before I next up. Yep. Okay. All right. That's all. And the next two squads arrive in order. Bam, bam, bam. These guys are much further back, but they're still supporting the boys. All right. So that means their roll's a little bit bigger now. Oh, my. A little bit? Yeah. Pretty big. Pretty <laughs> the defense is all... <laughs> That's really funny. Um, so you see the the kind of knights start to swarm, and you can hear cries out um, from both uh, Doran and Lorraine that seems to be holding the the troops together and keeping the the not makeshifts. There are trained guards and militia here, but some of them aren't so well trained, uh, keeping the morale high as the battle rages on down below. That's good for them. Leo, it's your turn. Uh, I have a question with. Um from good and evil does that uh affect nope. Gellion? no nope it doesn't fit on the any of the categories nope god okay fuck me i guess um yeah his his existence is very strange when you find out what it is it'll be really funny fuck you um, <laughs> um he's a mecca he's piloted by a really small version of himself that lives in his chest <laughs> he's a construct <laughs> That would be hilarious. Um, yeah, that, um, I'll dodge. Okay. Anything else? And Marshall check. Yep. Insufficient. Phil. I heal. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Monkey Phil. So probably. Monkey will grapple him. Monkey fill noises. Oh my god. Frodo, hey, this is my job to roll bad, so. <laughs> let me, like, I just like. <laughs> if, you could, if you could stop fucking on my robot, that'd be really cool. Phil, <laughs> Phil moves to grab it, and you see, how, see again, Kelly just kind of kicks him in the shin. Uh, <laughs> um, with inhuman force, there's definitely something wrong with Kelly and his very existence that is allowing him to be this. And Phil's gonna try again. And fail. <laughs> and Callie is just like, is this really the best you've got? A faulty robot, a running coward, with a cat, you with your fucking, you're just dancing there in place. Her, I don't even know who she is. <laughs> I don't even know you. <laughs> I don't even know you. Two more progress. Um, as Dane, you see him holding on for surprisingly. Uh, a long time before looking to who wants to tap out um, for it. So you guys are at 11, and down below in the forge, you can hear the fires Love raging, um, growing stronger. Yeah. Think about all the rounds you guys are cutting out by, by helping. Isn't that neat? All right. Who gets clashed? He's not going to... He's not going to target um, Phil. So from left to right, it's one is Jane, two is uh, uh, Alexandria, and three is uh, mm -hmm. Leo. And Jane, you will have advantage on your thing, and he will have disadvantage uh, if he tries to clash you. Just noting. Okay. <laughs> um, Jane, you may roll me an attack roll or... Yeah, yeah at advantage. Uh, at advantage to defend yourself. Um, I'll clarify what he's doing. He's basically wide sweeping the entire area with his sword, just full full spinning, and he fails. <laughs> All right. Uh, see them attempt the seal. 
and I shoot him in the hand, and he loses a little bit of a grip. Mm -hmm. Give me a second. Let's see how it rolls. Oh my god, he nat 20 it. Not even. Jo I'm gonna s screenshot it for you guys. Wait, I thought that was 16 was his though. No, he he nat 20 oh, his. Oh, that was his. It's con save. Con save. Yeah. Gotcha. That's fine. As long as he doesn't hit me, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Look at this boy. He's tough. All right. Well, so you see Kelly and kind of. Kick you back, Leo, a little bit. Just move forward and then boom, sweep his blade. And you see kind of darkness whip around him, like almost like a tornado. And before it really picks up, you hear a twing, and his blade is shot out from his hand for a moment. He catches it with his other, shaking. It's like, where's the fucking cat? Yo, ma, is that a cat? <laughs> Yo. Ma, I've got this fucking cat. <laughs> uh, and then Dorian and the boys go again. Let's see how they do. That's not good. Uh, yeah, the the forces, enemy forces, start pushing back. Boom, boom. Um, hits are being taken, losses, uh, casualties. Boom, on both sides. But uh, only one army has the numbers. Game in this. Boom, boom, boom. Only one of the progress bars updated. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then. Um, let me move their tokens slightly so they're represented. Getting deeper into this fucking mess. Blood is being shed. People are dying. Um, all right, Callian. He is tired of your bullshit. Um, meeny miny mo. Which one of you do I want to break first? And then he turns to you, Leo, and he goes, "You." Uh, and he's going to attack you twice at disadvantage. I believe both of those both miss. miss. Foom, foom. You're just kind of dodge, you duck, weave. <laughs> just like a little, like kind of foom, happy feet. One more combo. And you see Kelly and go, are you fucking shitting me? And he just fucking starts stepping away from you. Just so fucking annoyed. And he's going to keep walking. <laughs> he's just going to walk away from you. Just he just goes to have like a donut somewhere. He's just fucking done. What's your move speed? Uh, yeah, no, you're too close. Um, he's just gonna step back, and you see him just. Ah, man, they always run, and he kind of like takes a seat almost, like shaking his head, <laughs> like he doesn't know he's on a time limit. Um, yes. He Jane. thinks he's just invincible forever. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Uh, I love this. Dodge action, OP. <laughs> hey, mm, I honestly okay. believe. Uh, it's like the basketball stands of like <laughs> <laughs> dodge weave. Aww. I'm gonna just Leo's channeling thing. Shoot him again. Okay. From like right here. <laughs> yeah, he sits there and, and a fucking bolt comes yeah. out his face. Ding. Uh, you see it hit his forehead and it just kind of crumples up and he goes, "Really? Show yourself, you damn cat!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I'm just like I'm right here, moron. And then I like I do the same kind of thing where my <laughs> feet you can see some stuff, but then I'm just I eat away. <laughs> Anime runs away silently. <laughs> All right, Thea. Yeah. I haven't figured out everything with muscle checks yet, right? Correct. You have no. not. We have not. I'm going to do one of them. Yeah. Other than that, I'm not really sure what to do. <laughs> Kelly, it's <laughs> very weird fight. 16. Hmm? 16? That is yep, 16. insufficient to identify any new abilities. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Would you like to roll your D? Eh, ah, no. Nah, you already rolled it. Um. Uh, don't forget your yeah, d6. Uh, can I roll it now? <laughs> I'll allow it this once. I'm a merciful god. I'll roll it the next time. Haven't <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Insufficient. <laughs> um, <laughs> Alright, Radagast, you wanted to hold onto that fire? Uh, onto that hot yeah. hill? Give me a constitution saving throw. Okay. All right, 21. that's sufficient. You take... Ba, 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 ba. Let me do some math. Let's roll some dice, baby. 
you take 15 points of um, fire damage as you're holding on to it way longer than you really should, and it's starting to burn and sear your skin. Um, but you hold on. You don't drop the sword. Uh, two progress is made, so that's 13. Um, anything else you'd like to do before you ta pass the blade to the next? I keep holding it. Oh, you're going to keep holding it? I'll keep holding it. Okay. Uman, Rider Guys is not letting go of the flaming sword. <laughs> He'll. Um, if he's not letting go, I think I'm just gonna be like, "Are you alright there, buddy?" His hands are, are on sure fire. You shoot some help. <laughs> no, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna cure wounds him at first level. Just if he doesn't want to give you the sword, mm -hmm. I'll just you, you go ahead, buddy. Mm -hmm. Uh, cure wounds. Give me a second. Where is it? It's here. Nine healing. Okay. Uh, Nothing. Just. Uh, no progress. Yeah. <laughs> no, no progress from Uman since he's healing instead of. Yeah. Um, no, don't heal me. Don't do it. Don't you dare. <laughs> Too late. I mean, what else can I do? I mean, can I do something else? Yeah. Yeah. yeah totally good. Boost the progress. I mean, I'll boost the progress then. All right. Uh, the way to help now is by going downstairs. Uh, so you see that Rado guess is like holding on. Those friends are looking. He's like, you think he's got it? I don't know. I don't want to stick my hand in that fire. And the only person who stays is Dane, as they all kind of like. Give me uh, downstairs to where you can see um, the the bladesmith is just grabbing things, flammable things from the from the loot pile and tossing it into the bottom of the forge, uh, so it keeps the fire going. He's gonna end up using the entire dragon horde, isn't he? Uh, not exactly. Um, and you can help him toss things in there. Yeah, sure. All right, noted. Take it up once. Uh, the night boys. They're gonna take their swing. Progress is being made. The uh, the defenses are faltering as the battle continues. Hum, 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 hum. hum. No more reinforcements seem to arrive in this part of it, but you can hear the marching army in the distance. Hum, 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 hum. Do, 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 do. Leo. Um, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> shimmy closer? Uh, oh, no, no, no. I mean fucking basketball shimmy. <laughs> just, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just stand here and, like, just... There, the flu wise just kind of flop down, pick up a ration, eat it. You're sitting down? Not <laughs> Dodge action, but like eating a ration is just the same thing. Reaching into his bag, pulling out a fucking breed. <laughs> just <laughs> whole, whole. Um, all right. Would you like to make a martial check? Yes. Okay, roll it. Action burrito. Uh -huh. 17. Insufficient to identify any new abilities. Fair. Okay. Um, that will enter. Phil. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> du, du, du. Phil approaches menacingly. And he's got a dash. Poor Phil. Alright. End of round. Two more progress. As um, you see Radagast, you're kind of like holding on. And you, and you feel Dane's shoulder. <laughs> Dane's hand on your shoulder. Blah, 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 blah. English. Uh, and he says, don't let go. And <laughs> he's holding on to your shoulder. <laughs> giving you... <laughs> <I> <laughs> I'm not letting go. Good. Um, just don't hold it too long. <laughs> um, I've already held it for too long. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and you see the 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 bladesmith down below is just continuing to toss. I'm like, damn it, it's not enough. And you see him start to go through his po pockets and like his stuff. His hands shaking some. Um, and Kellyan, <laughs> Kellyan's just had enough of this fucking shit. Um. Who is he most pissed at? Chain. Suck a dick. Uh, Leo ag drew aggro <laughs> by attacking <What>? his ego. <laughs> he has an actual feature, by the way, about that. You'll find out which one it is soon enough, I feel. Um, so he just sees you, Leo, and he goes, ego. All right. I'll just break his spirit and his fucking pants, I guess. Disappears. Anime appears behind you. 
<laughs> like lightning fast swings down at you. Uh, he's going to uh, attempt to clash you with a different clash ability. Um, oh. What's this fucking do? <laughs> oh, it's at this, so it's a net one. It net one. Uh, still ties. Yeah. <laughs> still ties. Um, wait, hold on. I need to think of something. Right. And that one is uh, minus five. Ah, you're right. You're right. Doesn't. God, life is depression. So you see, boom! He swings at you with a sword, kind of boom, towards your back, and you just kind of dodge the last second, I and it cleaves. <laughs> it cleaves. Well, first of all, it strikes the burrito <laughs> as he swings down. And he falls out of your hand. No, not the burrito. A sacrifice no. that had to be made. Um, and you see, his sword doesn't go so much towards your skin as it does your armor, and boom, you hear the cracks forming on your armor as his blade impacts it, and you gotta pull back just in time so he doesn't shatter it. And he goes. God fucking damn it! <laughs> Why won't you die? And that's his turn. I'm so fucking aggro, this man. I'm being the Humphrey. You've okay. planked. You've planked. Oh my god. Like, doesn't pay attention to fucking anyone. Look at them go, those fucking medloads! Holy shit. Ah, oh, that's wrong. Sword. That's wrong. It's not plus 100. Alex, I don't know. I think it, we, if that's no, good was, for us, I think it, that's right. It was a 2 plus 14. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like this 16. round, maybe I might get my blade. Doom, 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 doom. The strikes. Boom, 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 boom. Enemies falling one by one. Boom, boom, boom. And the, the forces pushing back. Uh, they can hear Kelly and screaming, Why won't you die? And the knights are like, Shit, is he struggling? <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing, bro. <laughs> Our boss is kind of kinda a fucker. Kinda cringe. That's a morale hit right there. That's a morale hit right there, yeah. They uh, get banged. Kelly and He's like he's like, Don't worry guys, I can't die. He runs over the wall. Why won't you die? <laughs> uh, Alright, Kellyan, his ego has been assailed, is going to try it. Actually, no, he failed this clash. Uh you see as Kellyan kind of swing swung his blade to try to shatter your armor, he's just panting heavily. <sighs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> and he doesn't take an action this turn. Uh, yeah. Oh, I almost he, forgot. He, what? He doesn't? He can't. And Oh, yeah. You guys can identify another ability um, with Doran's uh, help, which are the ones you haven't identified. Ruination, Twisted Mind, and uh, I believe that's all. Mm -hmm. I think ruination is the uh, the armor break one, so should we do twist the mind? Guys? Yeah, I'm down. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> twist the mind. Twist in mind. Kellyan's mind is too far gone to even comprehend ideas of mercy or forgiveness. He is immune to the charm condition, and when his when one appeals to his sense of reason or taunts him, he gets infuriated, blindly assaulting them next. Can't we all just get along? Yeah, insult him. <laughs> Activate murder. Talk shit. He's gonna he's gonna swing at you. Talk shit. Action shimmy has been working so far. Is he missing a feature? Oh, no, he, he no, 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 no. You can't put it in now. The fight's already started. That's breaking the rules. It's fine. It hasn't even proxy. So you guys don't even need to worry about it. Um, at least. Tell us oh, the name called. of the feature is Sever the Soul. Uh, hey. Hey, that's my bit. That's my bit. Technically, oh. it's not your bit. It's, it's not your bit. Uh, Jane, what would you like to do? Mo is yelling. <laughs> well, um, what would I like to do? Theoretically, Don, when it's done, like, Teleports to me, right? She does not teleport. She has to fly across the sky. Flies it's much more. Sky. It's much more dramatic. <laughs> it's more dramatic. But well, like, yeah, I mean, but it like com comes to me pretty quickly. Progress is still sixteen, right? Correct. Okay. Mm, I guess if Jane oh, wouldn't sure. even know that it's close to being done anyway, so. Yep. I think she would just shoot another shot, and just say. I don't know. She would just be like, I don't know. You may be invincible, but you're the same old loser. Oh, fucking kill you! 
Why did you say that? <laughs> Fucked your mom shit, dude. The she party, menacing <laughs> boss fight, the party, action dog. <laughs> the boss fight, why you let me hit you? <laughs> Very Do I need to stealth again? Uh, yes. Action shimmy, baby. Shake them hips. Yeah. Dirty. Invisible. Cha cha, real smooth. <laughs> da 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 da. I'm gone. All right, and then I will. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. He still got abilities to identify. Oh yeah, I guess I'll do an insight just in case. Mm -hmm. So we have at least one more. We have a couple more. Maybe. Insufficient to identify. Um, Thea. Mhm. Mm it's your turn. I am going to move the five feet that are between us. Give him the finger as I'm walking and then take the dodge action again. <laughs> and do a martial check. Asserts dominance. He doesn't know this man. This is not about him. Deep pose dodge action. Deep Pretty anger. Much. Uh, like fucking... uh, 12 does nothing. Uh, insufficient. That's my turn. <laughs> Alright. Radagast, Constitution saving throw. Of course, my friend. Oh no! All right. So this. Uh oh. This is Hold on. Huh? Can I uh? Can I burn a luck point? You may. Okay. God, you have luck. There's a reason I took it. You said saving throw, right? Yeah. yeah. That's okay. So you kind of like holding on for a moment, and then it kind of like the heat burning. Oh, by the way, I need to run the damage again. One second. Mm -hmm. uh, that's another 15 fire damage as you're kind of holding on um, and the heat is getting to your your palms are like sweating and like the skin burns so you kind of arms are sweaty knees weak arms are heavy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the, the like the hilt of the blade slips out of your hand for a minute and you go oh shit oh shit and you kind of like hot potato it and you get, catch it up the last second and like you can feel like Dane's arm grab you harder and then you kind of like don't <laughs> let go <laughs> And that's uh, to progress. Marshmallow gas. <laughs> One point? Uh, two points. Oh, shit balls. Uman, down below. <laughs> Tossing two things into the progress. floor. Yeah, just, 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 doing my, just doing my shit. Just tell okay. me what to do, daddy. I'll do it. Oh, uh, yeah, just yeah. progress. <laughs> Whatever, like I'm helping. With... I'm waiting for instructions. I'm like, instruct me on what to do, Daddy. Keep the forge running. You're kind of conga lining, fucking different, different pieces of uh, pieces. It's, it's so there's so there's furniture that they brought up here for like their rest or whatever, and they're just tossing it to you to toss into the fire like a chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chairs, okay, I'll do it. tables. Oh, and also, now that it's my turn, that's my turn, but I'm gonna roll, I forgot to roll the Weaver of Fate, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna roll them now, just to have them for later. Mm -hmm. And then... Okay. Okay, okay. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Alright. Yeah, I don't know if I can do much else. <laughs> oh, damn, if you were to roll the four, you could just tell Kellyn to fuck himself. Mm. May uh, damn, I would just say argue that fucking Honorbound would ha would be demoralized because that's Kelly why they failed in last roll. Um, yeah. well, um, one by one the forces are being uh, bomb. Ripfin. T. That's a good one for the one. Like that one. Yeah, it's a good one. Hold on. No. Oh. <laughs> one of our guys died. War is brutal. As long as, as long as Lorraine survives, I'm fine. As long as Lorraine survives, I'm vibing. <laughs> oh my god, so you care about Alright. have another friend Leo. of mine fucking die. Um, I'll marshal check. Okay. Alright, you well, can I'll... choose between Sever the Soul or Ruination. Uh, Sever the Soul. Let me drag his feature. I'll just post it here. Sever the Soul. Tell me I can copy this. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this is the same thing that the Angel Maker. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, what would you like to do for your action? Is it is it is it boogie? Boogie woogie baby. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, wait. 
He looks at you, deeply infuriated. Phil dashes back. <laughs> <laughs> Making his way over. You're breaking his ankles. <laughs> Kelly is deeply upset. All right. First thing first, the clash, and then the progress is hit to 220. And we'll discuss Who's that in a moment. Who's he clashing? Um, let's see. Three. Hello, T. Hi. Yes, this I'm here to advantage. I'm here to clap you. You're done. Fucked up now. Nice. You have advantage too because mm -hmm. you're flanking him. <laughs> yep. Action shimmy. First roll is if I was gonna punch him. The same. The, mm -hmm. the same roll, but at advantage. Correct. Yes. Uh. uh that is sufficient. Twenty. Yep. That's sufficient. <laughs> He's gonna have to roll his con save. Yeah. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. He's good. Oh, you guys saw that, don't okay. uh, <laughs> Yeah, he's, fine. he's got a good mod. Uh, so you see... No, he has a close <laughs> Callion kind of swings his sword, um, first kind of fainting Leon, and turns to strike down Alexandra, who literally just whoom, faint, steps forward, like with a right hook, ducks almost immediately back out of it, so his sword misses her by, like, inches, and then just fucking punches him in the nose and in the face, and it goes, that didn't hurt, but it it was demoralizing! Why won't you just sit still and die?! <laughs> Uh, and the blade. Oh, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> up above. Like up above, you see the forge, like right against you, can feel the heat on Don's hilt growing, but there's something missing. And you see the forge. <laughs> the bladesmith kind of looks, and he sees the fires dying, and he goes, looks at his hands, and he goes, fuck it! Puts his hands in the fire, and you see a radiant light kind of, of almost be drained from his body. And he goes, "This one's not a good idea." And when he passes can up, I, he's he's below, he's below, he's okay. under. You guys are at the top, and you see the forge Umar's and the heat. Under. Yeah, Umar, you see that. Yeah, I'm under. You see the blazeman just stick his fucking hands in the forge and give it his <laughs> oh, fucking. Oh, what the fuck? You see holy radiant energy from his own life forces. Shunted into it, he falls down unconscious, and then a fucking fire kind of ignites and it just burns up. And Radagast, roll me a dexterity saving throw. You son of a bitch. Yeah, whoever was holding yeah. it had to me. <laughs> All right. Nice. So this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a bit. Oh my god. I am. I imagine Don. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Okay. Well, I mean. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, the fire explodes out with holy energy <laughs> You unconscious Heat taken over And Dan goes oh shit And the sword <laughs> taken by the heat And then <laughs> gone to the it's sky launched into the fucking sky <laughs> <laughs> Over the edge <laughs> And there's a stillness <laughs> In the air One moment please um, I'll be honest is I thought Radicass would be dragged along with Dr. <laughs> James <laughs> No If he was uh, conscious yes May yeah, oh maybe. God, that would have been hilarious. Wait, don't you have a luck point? Uh, he would okay. still, it would still, even at half damage, it would knock him unconscious. Uh, really? Oh. No, it wouldn't. Oh, it wouldn't? Damn. Uh, oh, at damn. half? I don't want to use the luck point for this, though. I mean, like, I know I should get, go up, but I... DC so... portal. I'm not going to say the DC if he's going to use the luck point. <laughs> oh, God. That's you like... <laughs> I want to waste a luck point. Yeah. I guess I do. Fuck, I don't. I really don't. I want to just <laughs> get back like up. I have like... Uh, After good. One. No, I... <laughs> oh, I want to, but I shouldn't. You'd be... <laughs> Look, as much as I love the idea of Radigas being dragged through the sky... Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I changed my mind. <laughs> See, you said it out loud. Is this a ability check or saving throw? Saving, saving throw. throw. Oh my, oh god. my fucking god. <laughs> I wanted to know mentally, I was like, as long as it's not a natural 20, he, he's, oh my god. So you take half of that 73, um, and you see Daniel go, wait, right up! <laughs> and you are consumed by holy fire, boom, propelled, and you're holding onto the sword, just like your body burns. Your very essence seems almost cooked uh, with radiant holy energy. And then down below, everyone sees the the sky kind of which has been this dark marshy um ominous just 
boom, a golden beam of light explodes outwards. And the fucking, <laughs> you hear a scream in the distance. The clouds part. And then Radagast, as you're in the air, you're like, oh, shit. There's a, a vibration of the blade in your hand. And then, <laughs> it pulls you with it through the sky. Um, and as you're in the sky, there's kind of this foom gleaming light in the sky, like a shooting star almost, that is red against <laughs> And uh, uh, I just say in a creepy voice out loud, I'm just like, she's coming. Can I, can I just say, Nori, you're welcome. Uh, I, have, I have added the new version of Dawn to your inventory, uh, Roar. It is called the Rising Dawn. Um, the light foom. <laughs> tears through the darkness you hear Kelly go what in the fuck and then as he's like standing back boom, Radagast you're kind of falling <laughs> slowly can I fall okay look look can I fall can I like can I try and fall on Kellyan to do an attack uh no because there's a different thing that's gonna happen but because the blade's not oh, going shit. to Kelly <laughs> but you can let go and fall on a roof and try to mitigate your fall damage if you'd like or just slam yourself into Jane um either or works um the... can I try and catch him <laughs> <laughs> get, try to catch me. Catch me, James <laughs> Ducks. <laughs> catch it! <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be death fall if stupid shit didn't happen. Me. Where there was drama. All right, the blade boom, careens across the sky. One moment, please. Let me check something. Okay. All right, this is gonna be fun. Um, you, Radagast, holding on, notice something um, about the blade. It kind of parts. Half of it goes forward even faster than the half you're holding on. And you're like, ah! ah! And Jane, as you extend your hands out, you can feel um, a familiar but different. There's a difference. It doesn't feel the same uh, like it did with Don. With Don, it felt like a methodical kind of sun is rising. Here's the end. Here, it feels like a very energetic, let's go, <laughs> kind of beat the shit out of uh, energy. And <laughs> half of the... Half of her blade yeah. oh, arrives in your hand. And you hear a voice in your head that goes, All right, let's show this fucker what's up. Uh, and it is not Don, you know. Um, Who are you? Yeah. Me? You could call me Zenith. Uh, roll like oh. you may, if you would like. Clash, uh, Kelly, and Ed Advantage. Okay. Oh, boy. New sword, who this? New sword, who this? Oof. Oof. What? It's only a plus this. six? It's terrible. What? It's worse than a normal roll. Oh. Uh, it it should have. Um, you didn't. Oh, it's not marked with proficiency. Should be a plus. Like, hmm, one second. Then, or ten? Plus ten. Let, me, let me change some stuff to make sure. Um, your proficiency, it's a plus two weapon that. Oh, it didn't update. Rip. Doesn't one Kelly second. himself this? Uh, from. Why would he. Why would he have this? Uh, I'm coming out. Oh, yeah, yeah, the stealth. You're right, you're right. Oh. <laughs> was a 14. Um, your mod should be higher, Jane. Could you roll another test one to see what it is? Well, yeah, because Don right now is an 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should be higher. I'm just checking the mod, which is... Yeah. 11. That doesn't... That's wrong. That has to be wrong. 11 should be right. Plus 11 ah. should be right. Ah. That should yep. be it. Yep, 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 yep. Plus okay. five, plus 26. Four, plus... Just, boom, you kind of swing Don, or, well, in this case, Zenith, uh, boom, at him, and it's only half the blade, and he kind of, like, ducks out of the way. Oh, what in the fuck? Why? <laughs> and he just fucking tosses a rock at you. Uh, and uh, oh, you feel <laughs> kicks one with his foot, and it, you hear uh, a kind of crack as Jane. You take thirty points of damage, but he can't seal your seal your item because he can't see it. Okay. Okay. I'll so what have? That. Okay, fifteen. So where am I now, Portal? Uh, what the hell happened this to Radigan? That, that was the first half of the blade. The second half hasn't arrived yet. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you might notice a new feature on your sword as well. Uh, a couple new features on your sword that you might want to look through, Roar. Uh, Kellyan can't see the cat. Mm. And he's he's vulnerable. And he sees two very angry people next to him. And he goes, fuck. <laughs> and then he's going to try to... Hmm. He looks at both of them and he goes, I'm more scared of her. <laughs> and then he's going to try to clash the... <laughs> 
uh, flat. Oh, wait, what? Uh, yeah, <laughs> turns. Yes, he is. Does uh, he? He doesn't have this. Oh yeah, you're right. She's she's fucking dodging. All right. Uh, he's trying to clash you, Alexandria. At advantage because of the flanking. Uh, yeah, right. twenty. Yep. Or twenty-six. <laughs> so Kelly swings down, and again, this time, this time his face can break. So, boom, another faint. This time you faint in the same way before, except instead of like he tries to read it, and you just continue with your fucking uppercut, and he goes, "What the fuck?" And you just kind of smack him straight up, <laughs> and I kind of sure you can style. Boom, doom, doom, doom. Uh, choose an ability oh. to seal. Um, so Tyler, remember what do we want to seal? What um, oh, well, he saves, but... Uh, he still takes 100 damage. Mm-hmm. And you might notice something about his hit points. <laughs> He's got Wait. some of them. He's got 200 what? hit points. He does Why? not have many hit points. Uh, because, yeah, he, he because of his, uh, his ability. His ass is gross. I now the lawnmower who's about to eat it up. <laughs> Uh, so he failed on his clash on his turn. He is not having a good day right now. Jane, start of your turn. The second half, including Radagas, now arrives of your of uh, the rising dawn. Boom, breaking through the sky. Radagas, you you all kind of hear Radagas going ah as he's being dragged along with half a fucking blade hill. <laughs> and Radagas, uh, what do you do as you you see you're approaching a a glowing lightsaber? Very quickly. This is at the start of your turn here before the stuff. Uh, right. <laughs> is there a good answer here? Yeah, you could always <laughs> let go. Okay, fine. I let go. Can I let go? Uh, try and land on a roof? Yep. You take exactly nine points of fall damage. <laughs> how close am I to, how close am I to fail? Hold on a sec. Uh, uh, hold on. It's close enough. It has to be 30 feet, I think. Uh, fuck. Hold on. 60 feet. Uh, half of any damage takes rounded up is transferred to the guardian. So okay. I'm I'm oh, I'm alive with four HP right now. Somehow. Radagast oh, survives the crash. <laughs> <laughs> boom. Uh, and you see, you Jane. I already played it. Radagast to heal that. So you see Jane. Boom. You can hear it, and then you hear boom, 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 as Radagast let go, rolls off the roof, falls onto the ground on his ass. On his back, you see there are burn marks all over his body. He looks like he's just been taken on a magical journey. Uman, up above, like after the fire ignited, you you heard Radagast just screaming. And it's just, where'd he go? <laughs> uh, it's my turn? Uh, it's not your turn. I'm just saying that's what you saw okay. and heard. Uh, but Jane, it's the start of your turn, and you have both halves of the Rising Dawn. Hmm. Am uh, I like dual wielding it then? Uh, it is. You have it, one in it, each hand? It can be split and put together. Uh, it functions as either two short swords or one long sword. Okay. Uh, I should long. be noted, the second half when it arrives, uh, arrives way more gracefully where the first one was super energetic and ready to rumble. Uh, the second one is much more like kind of boom, tactical, similar to how you remember Don being the more patient. And there's a quiet voice that says, Aurora, a pleasure to meet you, Miss Bond. Uh, Aurora. Are you guys both what Don? I don't know Don. Uh, we'll explain shortly, but I do believe there is uh, a monster to slay. Yeah. You want mm. the embryo like basketball <laughs> shit uh, around Killian? Okay. Oh shit, no. So, I'm invisible right now, Correct. so I get advantage on my attack rolls. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to first throw the double Don, which mm -hmm. I guess splits as I'm throwing it. Correct. And like two blades fly out. So it looks like when you toss it as one sword, you toss it forward, and in the air, one curves over, kind of boomerang style, and the first one strikes him in the chest. Um, roll sneak attack, please. <laughs> Not radiant damage. Damn, that's He's fucking bad. dead. He is dead. <laughs> Pain! Yeah, he's um, agony. And then I will Deathbringer him with the other, uh... <laughs> with your bonus action. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bonus action, Deathbringer. Uh, ah. <clears throat> that hurt a lot. You. And... <clears throat> blade in his chest pulls out. You see the radiant 
energy leaves a deep gash and deep burn as you kind of pull the trigger on your crossbow, boom, shooting him where he just left a scar. You see his body is failing very quickly under the exposed sunlight. Kind of weak, to be honest. Kind of a little and bit, just yeah. Just kind of run up to the side a little bit more. I'll say, finish him off, and then I run up to the side after I make the yell. <laughs> All right. Finish him off. <laughs> Leah. He still thinks I'm over there. Kill him. Hmm. Do we still not know everything about him? Do I need to master check him? There's... Sure. I mean, you could, yeah, for, for Ruination. He's a little too easy. Hmm. I mean, I'm just gonna clarify, you guys played it pretty well. <laughs> Didn't just whoo -hoo -hoo, and I rolled like dog. I rolled like dog. <laughs> I'm channeling my inner thing. <laughs> Backflip. Well, that one's not gonna do much help, so... <laughs> I mean, he's vulnerable to damage. You can beat the shit out of him if you'd like. Well, I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll spend a moxie to do four... Four, uh... He's just dead, I think. He's gonna eat shit. He really is. He should've There's... worn armor. You can roll four attacks. Oh, well, that's... He's a dumbass. I mean, you don't have to kill him. I mean, I could... If you just been like... Oh. I can kill him a little bit. What? Okay. <laughs> Am I an advantage? Yeah. Yes. You're flanking. Hell yeah. <laughs> I am in deep pain right now. First one's a 21. Uh, don't forget your bonus uh, flaming damage. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna roll it at the end. Okay. I'll see how many of them hit. Uh, oh, that misses. Those all hit. Cool. So that's what, 66? Mm -hmm. All of them hit? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. One. yeah, three of them hit. <clears throat> 66. The fire Don't damage alone is fire. enough. Uh, with one punch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, yep. boom, 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 Good. blow after blow after blow. Uh, and you see Kellyan who is kind of like on a knee, like, no, this is it. And then you just fucking grab him by the face, <laughs> hit your knee against it, break his nose, and then just toss him down to the ground, and you just get on top of it, and you just start wailing on him. <laughs> Uh, yes. And you're just watching her break this fucking dude, just smashing his head and boom, blow after blow, um, the bones Question. crunching. Kelly and Joy. <laughs> Question: Can Leo join in so that it yes. becomes the joke machine? <laughs> can I have? Can I have uh, Jane like kind of come out of invisibility as she walks up with like and just smiling as she's watching, <laughs> yep. looking at her in the eyes. Hey, can let's I see you in the come eyes. On, come on. <laughs> can I try to come and beat him up? But <laughs> can I kind of? He gets up and just, just falls on his face. <laughs> you get yeah, up right just... aghast, and you see that he's fucking dead, and they're just beating up a corpse at this point. Just boom, kick, kick. Are you can I, me? I have a question, <laughs> though. I have, a, I have an actual question. Mm -hmm. I, can I see where his soul is going? Uh, if that's what you want to watch, yeah. Yeah, I uh, want to see what's going on with his soul. Sword to react to uh, roll me a perception check. <laughs> uh, does that with advantage? You have, you have the shield. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 18. Okay. 18. You notice a strange oddity about his soul. Uh, it's almost as if there's nothing there where there should have been a soul. Uh, like a vacancy that has been taken up by something. And you see as you beat the <laughs> loving shit out of him, it kind of just... <laughs> and the light in his eyes fades. And he, he dies. In a way, only... You know, this is befitting him. Dies. Yeah, the way the way loser like him dies, uh, surrounded by enemies kicking the ever living shit out of him on the ground. Um, and you see, you Radagast watch his soul. What little remains of it kind of wisp off um, towards Silverkeep in the distance. Poopy. Um, and below, you hear the sounds of cheers and like as Kellyan's last oh fuck <laughs> uh, and like the sounds of his ass getting beat um, the troops are being pushed back and without the darkness shielding them you see some of them who were undead start like kind of falling over and just losing uh, their agency until the invading army is repelled and for a moment you're like wow that was easy we did it and then nothing happens <laughs> you won Okay. That's it. Mm. Comments Can over. I roll off? <laughs> Comments Can I just over. fall off the roof now? You, you already fell off the roof. That's why you took full damage. And they're all oh. dead over the wall. The enemies are all crumbling oh. and dying. They're 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 running and uh, leaving, yeah, for the most part. Can I run oh. up the wall and shoot fireball at them? As <laughs> oh yeah, you absolutely God. may. Um, 
Fuff him. Lip up. More Fuff war him. crimes, let's go. Laying enemies. And... No, I still... guess outside of combat took more damage than anybody. Yep. To be fair, I missed every single attack I made, so. Or yes, almost every did. single attack I made. I should be able to shoot it like way over in front of me. Yeah, definitely. Don't worry about it. You blow some dudes up. So uh, what's okay. the deal with... Can I turn my weapon into a bow and start also... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you guys can definitely bit. clean them up. Just vroom, helping repel the army. But you were asking? This guy has a big, scary sword, right? Uh, It has faded with his... Like, you see his corpse is almost yeah, yeah, okay, okay. mushy. If you would like to try to grab the what remains of the sword, you can. Don't I mean... Fucking... Don't. I... You know... Uh... Uh, hold on, let me just flip a coin real quick. <laughs> one, you do it. Two, you don't. The one d two. Heads, I do it. Tails, I don't. Hmm. I grab this. I yeah. I try and see what happens if I try and take the sword. All right. You reach down to the sword, and in your head, you hear a voice go, "Isla, don't touch that." It's Isla going, "Don't touch that." <laughs> do no. you ignore Okey him? Dokey. Uh, what happens if Phil tries to grab this one? Do you tell Phil to grab it? I ask Ilith why not to grab it. it. There's like a long silence. Do you know the scale of bad ideas to worst ideas, right, I guess? I'm familiar with the scale, yes. When a person is physically deformed and attached to their magical evil sword, tell me, do you think it's a good idea to grab the sword? I mean, but if Phil grabs the sword, right, yeah, what's can the worst I just that still... Happen? Can... Well, that sounds sarcastically. Could... Well, she kind of well, have like a magic item linking you to him magically. Yeah, but he has to take orders from me. Can I hear him talking to Isla? Yes. Because he's talking a lot, right? I'm just going to look around and say, don't touch it. I, I was just, like, it, the thought Holding crossed my mind. Holding a dead body in my hands. And then <laughs> I'm just going to look at him dead right. stretch. Don't touch it. Okay, I'm, I'll leave it alone. I How does yeah. the Blade of uh, Lost Memories react to the weapon? It glows purple. Okay, it just has purple. That's that means you're cool, like aura. That's a bad. Everything's cape flavored. Mhm. Mm mm. You guys can just let it fade away. It seems to be sizzling in the sunlight, so you can like, just let it melt. Sword is. Yeah. Ooh, whoa, whoa. No, yeah. I'm just gonna kind of like you poke it with moment. Dawn and like try to smelt it faster. Mm. As the guys, sword approaches, um, you can heat. You can feel the kind of the radiant light, almost like melting it away. And then what is left is a crystal sword. Um, it is closer to a, a great sword in general shape, but it doesn't seem as heavy. It's like featherweight almost, um, like whatever was growing on it grew out of it um, to make is it, it like larger. The daggers we had. It's it's similarly engraved, yes. Uh, is it the same inscription? Uh, is the sword no. clean now? Uh, yeah, the sword is completely like crystalline. Uh, also, Uman, you see the, <laughs> the up above the blazemith is unconscious, just. <laughs> Almost uh, catatonic after putting his hands in the fucking forge. Uh, you see they are mm -hmm. seared a dark black. Um, and the twins are like, is he alive? Is he dead? It's not our fault. Right? You saw that. And they kind of look at you. <laughs> You're the evidence that we didn't do this. Where's your friend? Um, look, I, I have no idea what just happened here, okay? It all happened really fast. Can I tell if the fight's over? Like, uh, you can, is there any way? You kind of you, you know. feel like... Uman, you don't know, but there's like a certainty in you. Like they probably have it from here. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know where he, where, where he is right now, but I'm guessing he's alright. Um, this guy just kind of threw himself in the fire. Uh. You hear Dane's footsteps. Dun, dun. <sighs> Radagast went flying into the sky with the sword. I have no idea where he is. Right. That's. D don't worry about it. That's just that's just classic <laughs> right, I guess. It just looks at you and goes, fair, fair point, I just thought you need to know I'm out of breath. That heat is intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you, you, you know, um, take a rest. You sit around. Do you want any coffee? Do you have any do you have guys coffee? Like, while, while I'm doing this, I'm like, I'm going to touch the bladesmith and cast cure wounds. Mm -hmm. No, he doesn't wake, but he does seem to eat like his body doesn't. It seems to untension and relax. Okay, right. Yeah, ten, ten healing if, if that's if that does something and I, and I like, um, I'm guessing you know, 
uh, my companions are really good at fighting. Uh, I'm sure they can kick the ass of that asshole. I, I don't remember his name. Um, do, do you? Do you? I, I, I'm, you're really tired. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. You know, cleaning up some some of the stuff. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm pretty. Yeah. Do, do you want anything? Can I bring you anything, Dane? Are you right? Uh, I'm. I'm just gonna need a chair. And he kind of looks like. Where did all the furniture go? <laughs> Uman sweats. <laughs> I swear, right. I brought shit. <laughs> he looks at the twins and he points at the blades that is unconscious, and they just uh, shaking his head as back in the battlefield, the the dust is starting to settle. That crystal sword reflects the light pretty well, pretty neat. It has a different inscription, and you can no longer read it because you don't have eyes of the runekeeper. What? What? Yeah. Um, what language is it in? You uh, don't know the language. <laughs> damn it! It's not Abyss or Draconic. No. <laughs> Celestial, ain't it? <laughs> Evil laughter. Um, yeah. Bitch, can't take it. Hold on a second. <laughs> Can you read this? <laughs> Can. Well, no, he can't. Phil can't speak. That was my... Phil understands commands given in any language, but cannot speak. Translate. Hold on, actually. Wait. It's Wait. not C3PO. Good night. <laughs> um, Phil PPO. Oh, yeah, that's true. I sometimes forget, even myself, that I am blind. Yes. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe it's it. Oh, no, wait. I can't read Braille. <laughs> uh, Can I start uh, casting Identify on the weapon? Sure, if you'd like to touch it. <laughs> um, I check with my sword. Does it still give off the purple glow? Uh, no, it seems to have faded. Yeah, watch it. You can feel across your face, by the way, a deep... Yash from the fight, another scar across your like where your eyes would be. He literally uh, just another one. Okay. Now, now instead of a straight lash, it's like kind of like a pseudo, almost like a small little. It's it's a very interesting. It's like a uh, what's the word? It's like almost parallel. So it's like two slashes across the face. <laughs> he got a matching scar for his first one. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and you're touching the blade, right? Mm-hmm. You kind of put your hand on the crystalline blade, and you feel a pulse of magic, and the blade is gone. Um, and uh, he absorbed it, didn't he? He could summon it. Out. You son all, of a bitch! All of you what see, you blade, all of you Leo? see, Leo's eye, like the white eyes, glow white, uh, like with radiant light. And you see, he glows for a moment. His body seems to almost burn again uh, with brilliant radiance, and then he, he blinks, and he can see color again. Can he see? Wait, only okay. No, he can so see he's again. Just his, eye, his eyes are back. Um, he doesn't Boo! Know what what a shitty tray. <laughs> Bring back how, the sword. How did you fix him? He touched the sword and absorbed it, but he doesn't know what that means. Um, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Leo just yeah, kind of like sword go. Um, Leo, I kind of was looking at, maybe for like um, a new sword, so you could just like. So, um, do Leo's eyes look any different? Uh, they have a kind of golden tint around the edges of them, but otherwise normal. Okay, now that's fucking weird. I'm no longer blind! <laughs> <laughs> Kicks the heads up. I win! I, I, I kick Kelly and Mush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he's uh, dead already, but yeah. Uh, still fuck him. In your head, Jane, uh, two spectral figures start to form at your sides. And they do kind of like little half bows, and I'll present their tokens. They seem armored almost in a, in a fashion. Unlike uh, Dawn, who was very humanoid spectral, like these look like much more powerful uh, and uh, like almost fit for war uh, caricatures. Uh, why is that showing the wrong? One second. I need to make sure they're showing the right art. I'm them. What's my blind sight now? <laughs> uh, back to ten. Damn it. Okay. It was fun. And I'll show last. you first. Um, the one who greeted you first with excitement and glee, uh, Vesper. <laughs> the spirit in your left half of the blade, your more aggressive um, counterpart, um, and his sister Aurora, who is much more regal, focused, and determined. Uh, and they kind of look at you, and both you. Uh, well, Vesper does a kind of like half bow, and Aurora does a full like regal uh, hand, fist, bow. Uh, and they go, um, it is a pleasure to meet you, Miss Bond. 
Yeah, you too. Uh, where's uh, where's Don? They kind of look at each other, and Vesser. <clears throat> Mother understood that undertaking a reforging would. And he just goes silent for a minute. She is no longer with us, and we are in her stead. Um, she gave us life, I guess, in her final moments to give you a fighting chance. I can't believe Jane has kids now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jane just starts crying. Oh. Uh, and you see the two spirits are like... And they just start bawling. <laughs> just sad tears from the armor looking away. Just like, damn it. Uh, and you guys all see Jane starts to weep. And then he's gonna get up and like kneel beside her and like put her hand on her shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you guys are victorious. Uh, and you may yeah, take. We level up again, right? No, uh, you may take a long rest um, in Ashmorn, and there's one final scene before it's all over uh, for this week. Mm -hmm. um, as you guys are resting and recovering, um, you guys have quiet, peaceful, relaxed. Like there's a full party, a celebration, um, which we'll get into. Uh, next I was week. gonna say Le Leah would uh, summon uh, it as a great sword. Yeah, we'll see in a minute. In a minute, you can wait. You can wait till next week. No, be patient. No. Be patient. No, fuck you. This is no. important. Some of us on our time limit. Um, and as all of you rest up after the battle, some of you aren't as exhausted as you thought you might be. Um, the battle went going well in your favor. Um, <laughs> and as you kind of just rest, easy. Everyone dreams peaceful dreams, except Radagast, who wakes up yeah. in, in a sandy arena um, where he has, for the last couple times, been dreaming. And you see Ilith kind of spinning a spectral version of his sword, and he kind of points it at you, and he goes, Radagast. Yeah? <sighs> he takes an offensive stance. Fight me. I, uh, I attempt to fight him. As you say that, that's where we're going to end. Next week, we begin with Radagast's duel with Ilith for his body. What? <laughs> that was... <laughs> yeah, he's not explaining. But now you know out of character. Prepare your spells. Prepare yourself. You're going to be fighting. I'll tell you ahead of time. Ilith has the same exact stats as you, same exact items. He is just a mirror of you in this instance. Uh, if you win this fight, you get a cool thing. If you lose this fight, well... Hey guys, I'll see you later. Make yeah. I'll see you bitch. later, man. Hey, well, I get to play Eyelet if yes. I guess die. Mm -hmm. Yes! I mean, damn, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, oh, yikes. He just prepares like the worst spells. It's like, oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I lost. He's, yeah, oh, I should play him. I should play him. He has the same. Guessed. Does he have the same features in everything I do? Or does yes. he have the same? Does he using the same spells that I will be using? No. He, okay. he has his own. He will prep his spells. He will prep your spells. But he has access to the same list of things. I'm telling you ahead of time. I have played several clerics. I will be trying to kill you. Uh, good okay, luck. Okay. Okay. Come prepared and roll better than. I'm kind tried. of. You, there's no way. I mean, if it was this <laughs> session, maybe. But next session, there's no <laughs> way. Anyway, thank you all for playing this week. I understand it's a bit shorter, but uh, with Rar's movie, yeah. we want to give him as much time as he can to get everything settled and rest and relax. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Toodaloo. Right. Toodaloo. Bye, guys. Good game. Bye. I'm, I'm sorry that Radagast will be dead soon. <laughs> <laughs>